Hey there, it's Joe Johnson of Cancer Dudes Live More, and in this video I'd like to talk a little bit about supplements, some of the dangers of supplements, and my recommendation on where to buy your supplements. Now, supplements are one of my seven pillars that I've identified as necessary for optimal health, but they can be dangerous. 95, over 95% of the supplements on the market I would say are probably not good for you and will make your cancer worse. One example is B vitamins. Now most B vitamins that you find, so you get them from CVS or maybe even from a higher end source online, most of them are derived from coal tar. And when you see that your urine is a neon yellow color after you've had a bunch of B vitamins, you'll know that these B vitamins are actually clogging your liver and preventing it from detoxifying. So they're actually doing more harm than good. Another example is vitamin C. Most vitamin C that you'll find added to foods and in pill form is just ascorbic acid, which is synthetic. And now, ascorbic acid doesn't actually cure scurvy. True vitamin C with all of the bioflavonoids and cofactors and synergists that can actually cure scurvy, but synthetic ascorbic acid is not giving you many benefits. My third supplement that I'd like to talk about is vitamin D. Most vitamin D that you'll find on the market is derived from sheep's wool with a harsh chemical solvent. And it's really not something you want to be putting into your body. You want, for all of these vitamins, you want them to be from a live source. That way you're not going to get these harmful effects, these toxic tagalongs that are sometimes added into the supplements or just naturally occurring because they're synthetic or the way they're processed. This is why you get, you hear so much news about supplements being harmful to people or supplements being dangerous to people in all the studies that are being done. It's because they're not using high quality supplements. Ideally, we could get all of our nutrition just from the foods that we're eating, but since in the past century the soil has been so depleted, there's so many less minerals and antioxidants in the foods nowadays, and especially for a man with cancer, we really need supplements just to get our heads back above water again. So those are a few notes on supplements. Where I use supplements from, and the only thing I recommend to my clients, is from a company called Premier Research Labs, prlabs.com. I'll post a link, including with this video, but definitely watch out, and ideally you would go to someone who practices kinesiology or muscle testing to have them test out whether the supplements you're taking are good for you or are actually harming you and making your cancer worse. Thanks for listening, and I hope to see you again soon.